This is Daily Armenia, Civilnet's daily news digest. Here's what's making headlines in Armenia today. Armenia's Justice Minister Grigor Mirasyan announced his resignation today after members of the ruling civil contract party began collecting signatures for his removal, reportedly due to charges against his family members suspected of committing economic crimes. It will be difficult to hold a minister's position without having positive cooperation with even one MP. I was informed that about two dozen MPs from the civil contract faction have a problem with me. He said in a statement thanking Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan for the earlier appointment and noting that he plans to continue his career as a lawyer. Members of Pashinyan's civil contract party started collecting signatures seeking to have Minasen dismissed last week. Hovik Ahazaran, an MP, told Radio Azatatun. Ahazaran also mentioned that the removal petition is related to the activities of Minasen's family members without specifying what those were. Minasen's brother Mikhail served in government under former President Ser Sarkson, initially as his first deputy chief of staff and then as Armenia's ambassador to the Vatican and Portugal, while also cultivating extensive business interests and media holdings before he was removed from government, after Pashinyan ousted Sarkson from power in 2018. He is also married to Sarkson's daughter. Since 2018, Mikhail Minasen has been the subject of several criminal probes related to alleged corruption during his time in office. The most recent indictment against him was issued in August and accused him of massive fraud, bribery, money laundering and other crimes that together have cost the state some $350 million in losses, who worked as the executive director of a major medical center in Yerevan prior to 2018, has been wanted in Armenia for embezzlement ever since, both reside abroad and deny any accusations. Iran is seeking to join the Eurasian Economic Union, the country's first president, Mohammad Reza Aref, said today in Yerevan during the Eurasian Intergovernmental Council, an event that brings together prime ministers from the union's member countries. Iran's accession to important international and regional treaties and organizations, such as BRICS and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, has been completed. And during today's visit to Armenia, we will submit a bid to join the Eurasian Economic Union, which has a large market from an economic and trade point of view, the senior official said. Iranian Trade Minister Syed Mohammad Atabaki, who also arrived in Yerevan, added that good political and economic relations between Iran and Armenia create major financial opportunities for Tehran as it sees Armenia as a gateway to the Eurasian economic markets. The Eurasian Economic Union is a trade bloc of five post-Soviet countries, established in 2014, with a total population of 183 million people and a combined GDP of $2.4 trillion. It creates an integrated market for its members, namely Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Russia. If Iran were to join the union, its population of approximately 88 million and GDP of about $400 billion would significantly enhance the bloc's market size. You can also read our story about the 1958 incident in which an American plane was shot down by the Soviet Air Force over the village of Nerkin Sasnashe in Armenia. This tragic event led the local community to rally around the families of the crew members who traveled to Armenia after 1991 to investigate the incident. And today, the crash site serves as a spot for remembrance of the lives lost. You can read the full story on our website at civilnet.am or through the link in the video description below. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 155. That is because Arshak Fetvajan, a famous Armenian painter, was born 158 years ago today. He was a master watercolor artist celebrated for his stunning representations of the ruins of Ani, the ancient capital of Armenia, a staunch supporter of Armenia's independence. He designed banknotes and post stamps for the First Republic of Armenia and emigrated to the United States shortly after the Bolsheviks seized power in the country. Most of Fetvajan's works were donated to Armenia's National Gallery as per his will after his passing in 1947. And as always, please follow Civilnet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.